there. From the air, the land, and even right from the water, several agencies will be patrolling the Bosque in and around Albuquerque this weekend to keep any major wildfires from breaking out here in the metro area. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez rode along with Bernalillo County fire crews on their airboat. As soon as fire crews hit the water, they're reminded of why they're here. Yeah, the river's down a little bit. New Mexico is drying up. Crews from about half a dozen agencies are watching the Bosque, but Bernalillo County fire crews have an advantage of patrolling from the inside, looking out. They know exactly what they're looking for. Movement mainly. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, there really shouldn't be anybody in here. Chief Jim Dye says people could mean a potential for fire. One section of the Bosque shows what's left of a human-caused fire that came within 100 yards of several structures, including the Hispanic Cultural Center last year. Dye says this year could be much worse. This was a very, very hot fire. It grew very quick under less extreme conditions. It wasn't long after we entered the Bosque that someone was spotted. That's APD Air 5 just patrolling. Albuquerque police patrolling the bosque from the air had their sights on some trespassers in the now closed bosque. Right now, they've spotted some folks out on the water. Uh, they're going to command some ground units to get in. Dye says anyone in this dry tinderbox can spark a blaze. Just two days ago, arson investigators say a teen boy lit some brush on fire with a lighter in the bosque near Tingley Beach. So, this is where county crews will spend their holiday weekend. We'll be out on patrol probably till uh, 4 o'clock. And they won't be alone. The only way we're going to keep the metro area safe is really saturate the area with uh, with fire and law enforcement. Crystal Gutierrez. Copy that. Four fifty eight in route. KRQE News thirteen. Bernalillo County fire crews are not only fire spotters, they can also fight fire from the airboat. Portable pumps allow them to pump water straight from the Rio Grande.